Let's see. I'm coming for holidays. How about school? What are you doing in school? I'm fine. I'm preparing for my international general certificate of secondary examination. IGCAC exam. Still of my school, 49 school. Number 16 Udon Sorry, Piano Fort, New York Bible School. Wow, let's go in. Tell me more about the school. Fortune Schools comprises Craig, Nazari primary and secondary classes. We have standard facilities for both boarding and day students. We have God-fearing teachers, motivated and highly qualified. We impact godly character into the life of children. Admission is in progress into their both classes. Interested candidates can pick the forms in the school's admission office from Mondays through Fridays between 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. each day. Second entrance examination date. 10th October 2020, third entrance examination date, 24th October 2020. For more inquiries, please call 080 270 25262. Fortune School! Fortune School! Fortune Schools, excellence through hard work. Uyo, the Akwebom State's capital, came alive on Thursday, 15th October 2020, as the Deputy President of Senate, Senator Ovio Omo Agege, the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Richard Adebayo, the first Governor of Old River State and Chairman by Elsa Council of Traditional Rulers, His Royal Majesty, Alfred Dieter Spiff, and others converged at Helema Event Center in Uyo, Akwebom State, for the second annual general meeting of the Coalition of South South Chamber of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture, FASIMA, investiture of Dr. Konema as a third president of the organization. FASIMA is an umbrella organization working to promote business opportunities in South South region of Nigeria to foster economic development, interact with the legislative and executive arms of government in the country for an enabling environment for business to thrive as a prime advocacy group. Declaring the events open, the chairman of the occasion, Dr. Sikwe Sienibo, expressed pleasure on the opportunity accorded him to chair the event. May it give me a great pleasure to be the chair of this event. Thank you so it is a very important event coming to a point from states. I was in a meeting some few years ago. It was Uyo Sima Executive Meeting that I heard for the first time that there's something like for Sima. Dr. Okun Emma bring us on for Sima. It was the first time I've ever heard of it. I think either it was started new, but it's a great pleasure to see and know that today Fosima has come to acquire himself. I am confident that the proximity of Fosima to Yusima will bring great benefits to us. I'm confident also that the man that is going to be given the third investiture today will also bring some good benefits and advantages to Yosima. In the program, the chairman was not given any space for speaking. So I rather seize this opportunity to speak because I may not have the opportunity again to speak. So there's no space for the chairman to speak. But uh, since we have waited for a while, and I have also waited for a while, I don't want to 
give any long speech more than what I'm doing already. The Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ovio Mo Agege, represented by his special advisor on special duties, Mr. Godwin Anangui, his goodwill message to the incoming President of Fosima, Dr. Konema, and outgoing President, Chief Emma Awuru, called on the organization to join President Buhari in his lofty program's plans to lift 100 million of Nigerians out of poverty. Attached to the event of today. Uh, I have a prepared speech for you and I will proceed to present it. Mr. Chairman, Dr. Asiku Isembo, the Honorable Your uh, Majesty, King Alfred. Here to speak, the former governor of the Gold River State, Commissioner of Finance, Akwa Ibom, please stand on existing protocol. So I proceed to read the speech. The chairman of the location of the coalition of South, South Chamber of Commerce industry, mines and agriculture, Prince Bill Gillis Harry, the outgoing president, Chief Emmanuel Awuru, the incoming president, Dr. Okun Emma, the entire executive, both outgoing and incoming, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, let me first of all thank the leadership of FUSIMA for inviting me here today as special guest of honor. I'm truly delighted to associate with your German efforts to grow the economy of our region and that of our country as a whole. Since 1999, our country has undergone a process of political transformation from military dictatorship to democratic regimes. Since then, however, the expected dividends of democracy by way of improved conditions have not sufficiently materialized. President Muhammad Buhari is leading the way by committing to implementing programs to lift 100 million Nigerians out of poverty in the next 10 years. Achieving this lofty goal will require sustained economic growth at levels higher than what we have today and even the population growth. He emphasized that out of the estimated population of over 200 million people in Nigeria, a significant segment of the population is living in poverty. Today, of the estimated population of over 200 million people in Nigeria, a significant section of the population is living in poverty. According to the World Poverty Club, which provides real time estimates through 2030 in nearly every country of the world, the number of extremely poor Nigerians could be as high as 125 million in the year 2030 if we do nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, you agree with me that we must take this ugly scenario. Similarly, the erstwhile governor of Old River State and chairman, Bayelsa Council of Traditional Rulers, King Alfred Dieter Spieff, admonished the leadership and followership of the organization to see the association as a mouthpiece of the private sector by collaborating with other chambers and different state governors in the South South region towards the interest of the private sector. I'm very delighted to be with you today. I've been following the progress of FASIMA from its inception in 2009. And I would like to say well done to all the leadership and the followership. Well done.
Chambers of Commerce are the mouthpiece of the private sector. And we should not forget that. We should be able to carry the other chambers, city chambers especially, who may be having difficulty. We should also, just like the missionaries, do a bit of planting new city chambers. I must congratulate Rivers, so I can see they have quite a number of city chambers. And um, Akwebong, we hope the other state will also follow suit and encourage various cities to set up their own city chambers. You must work closely with your state governors. You must go introduce yourselves and point out clearly to the governors that you are the voice of the private sector. As has been pointed out by the deputy, uh, second deputy uh, national chairman of uh, president of Nasima, you will, it is your duty and it behoves you to applaud good policies and to stand and point out and clearly tell the governors or the policy makers in government that they are going off the tangent. It is important. It is a duty um, you have to carry out without fear or favor. We are not here on a beauty show or, or popularity show. We are here to see that the region also benefits fully from its um, endowment. He used the opportunity to advocate on industrial revolution in the country, including the refinery project he is embarking on. I'm happy that this issue of the Wari refinery has been made known to us. And I, for one, with the rest I shall, I'm not going to sleep over it. I'm going to take it up. Make sure that these refineries are working. Refineries don't make so much profit. They take the crude, they refine it, and they now charge just a little for that effort. So if you now don't give them the proper um, opening stock, then it is a deliberate attempt to frustrate them, and we call it sabotage. Yes. This is very serious um, discovery and um, pronouncement, and we will look into it very closely. I'd like to thank you all again for coming out, despite the risk of the pandemic. They say there's a new wave of it now in Europe and uh, the rest of the world, especially in China, where it all began. So please stay safe. Make sure you use your face mask. Make sure you follow uh, all the directives given by the national uh, the CDC, and the CDC uh, because there is no duplicate to life. But uh, you can't take important enough to be able to dare the pandemic and come for this um, inauguration. To the incoming team, congratulations. To the outgoing team, well done. And let us say, God bless us all. Earlier, the president of Uyosima, the host organization, Obong Nseyenebo, in his welcome address, said he believes that if the South Sub states can come together under an economic forum, such as for Sima, the body will be the strongest and most potent economic regional force to reckon with in the Federation of Nigeria. My duty is to welcome all of you. To Yosima, to the land of Yosima, or the land of promise, which has transformed into the land of fulfillment. It is my belief that if all the South South states can come together on an economic forum such as Fosima, 
it will be the strongest and the most potent economic force, regional force in the Federation of Nigeria. And I have several reasons to say so. Ebong recalled that in the federal allocation account on monthly basis, four of the South South states top the chart. He called for the conversion of the financial benefit to economic advantage to benefit the government and people of the South South states. Four of the South South states top the chart. So if we can, if we can convert these financial benefits into an economic benefit. It will be to the benefit of the government and the people of the South, South States. I quite remember the formation of the Brest Commission, which was to represent or which was to be the economic arm of the South South States. What we should see and what we expect to see is what we are seeing now. And that is why it gladdens my heart to host the second AGM of FOSIMA in a Bible state. And it is a double blessing to us that at the end of this session, our very own son, in the person of Dr. O'Connor, will assume office as the third president of FOSIMA. The event witnessed the adoption of the Deputy Senate President, Senator Ovio Amor Gege, as the patron of FOSIMA. Uh, this is a certificate of honor in recognition of your immense contribution to the economic growth and development of the South South region. Your support to FOSIMA as an institution of economic change for the Niger Delta and the distinguished leadership prowess. FOSIMA Executive Council hereby invests you, distinguished senator who Vioma again, this certificate of honor and is a patron of FOSIMA. This 15th day of October 2020, accept our recognition. This was followed by the investiture of Dr. Konema as the third regional president of FOSIMA and the inauguration of his, of his executive council. It is by singular honor to invest Dr. as the new president of FOSIMA. I hereby invest On his part, the president of the organization, Dr. Emma, in his acceptance speech, listed to undertake the development of unity of purpose for economic emancipation of South South and seek the collaboration of governors in the region to develop small and medium scale businesses. I'd like to thank God for today. This is a short address presented by Dr. Kurina on this occasion. Let me thank God for the opportunity given to us 
I'm glad to call Johnny Messi to this annual penalty. The coalition of South South Chamber of Common Industry, Mind and Agriculture has gone through its developmental process and its great problem. Let me use this opportunity to thank the founding fathers and the first president, Prince Billy Hyde, Hyde, and the second president, Chief Imago, sitting by me, for all their sacrifice to see their organization grow. As a child growing, we must be able to look back and identify our mistakes, correct them, and forge ahead for good. The economy of the entire South South should be our first priority. We should be willing to take on solutions to our developments despite our abandoned resources. We should be willing to encourage ourselves to that fire economy from total dependence on oil. Let us look at that approach. Mind, trade, tourism, and industry. In the past, our colonial master saw our oil palm, our canal, our mineral, and formed the Royal Trading Company that is the economic resources of this land. I thank you all for attending this event and pray that God will grant you the ability to improve on our economy. Thank you for your attention and God bless you all. Others who spoke at the event were the outgoing president of the organization, Chief Emma Awuru, Nasima President Haja Saratu Aliyu, the Ntisong Third of Ibibio Land Engineer Siene Kidem, Nawa Coordinator Mrs. Patricia Idiakoha, the Akwebom State Commissioner for Industry and Investment, Prince Ukbong Akwabio, represented by the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, Mr. Oliver Odokbo, and others. The Cradle TV show had a short, insightful interview with some personalities at the event. I want to thank the executive members of OSIMA for finding it necessary and expedient to appoint our son, Dr. Emma, as the next president of OSIMA. I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that Dr. Emma with his antecedents, will take Osima to the next heights. Dr. Emma has been the pioneer president of Uyosima. And as a pioneer president of Uyosima, he has set a foundation in Uyosima that I know he will translate to more better things when he goes over to Osima. I'm indeed very happy today to see Dr. Okonema becoming the new FOSIMA president. Uh, Yosima is very happy and very proud of the fact that uh, FOSIMA brought our AGM to Yo, for Yosima to post. Uh, we also are very grateful that the new president of FOSIMA is Dr. Okonje Emma. A very uh, ebullient, hard-working fellow. Uh, we have no doubt that Dr. Okonema will take Uyosima to a new, I mean, Fosima to a new height. And we at Uyosima uh, will be very, very much behind him, giving him all that he requires to succeed in office. Well, even the antecedents, uh, the degree of Dr. Okonema, we are very, very optimistic that his leadership is going to bring a lot of goodies to the entire South-South uh, geopolitical zone. Um, the business community, the Chamber of Commerce in particular, is actually coming on at a time that there is need to look into the private sector being
doing in school? I'm fine. I prepared for my international general certificate of secondary examination, IGCSE exam, still of my school, 49 school, number 16 Udon Sorry, Piano Fort, New York, Five Wow, let's go in. Tell me more about this school. Fortune Schools comprises Crate, Nazir primary and secondary classes. We have standard facilities for both boarding and day students. We have God-fearing teachers, motivated and highly qualified. We impact godly character into the life of children. Admission is in progress into their both classes. Interested candidates can pick the forms in the school's admission office from Mondays through Fridays between 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. each day. Second entrance examination date. 10th October 2020, third entrance examination date, 24th October 2020. For more inquiries, please call 080-270-25262. Great Fortune School! Great Fortune School! Fortune Schools, excellence through hard work.